New revelations about former NFL star Aaron Hernandez. A new report is making shocking accusations, allegations of drug use and paranoia. But perhaps the most explosive charge of all involves his former coach, Bill Belichick, considered one of the best in the NFL. ABC's Lindsay Davis has the story. In the new issue of Rolling Stone magazine out Friday, explosive allegations on former New England Patriots star Aaron Hernandez, now accused of murder. In the article titled The Gangster in the Huddle, Rolling Stone relays allegations by family friends that Hernandez used angel dust, formerly known as PCP. The magazine is also reporting that the 23-year-old tight end had grown paranoid, carrying a gun at all times. His angel dust use began in earnest sometime last summer and that he had been using fairly heavily and he had really begun to develop some psychiatric symptoms. In a July press conference, Patriots head coach Bill Belichick said Hernandez's arrest was the first he'd learned of the young star player's problems with the law. I and other members of the organization were shocked and disappointed in what we had learned. But sources tell ABC News that Patriots leadership was well aware of troubling conduct by Hernandez. Rolling Stone reports that he took his fears that someone wanted him dead straight to Belichick. Hernandez believed that his life was in danger and in fact, according to my source, told Belichick that attempts on his life had been made. But ESPN's Adam Schefter says while Hernandez's coaches may have had some of the pieces, it's unlikely they were well aware of the extent of substance abuse alleged in Rolling Stone. If the New England Patriots knew all this information. They never would have kept him around. They never would have given him the contract extension. They never would have stood by him and tried to support him. We reached out to Hernandez's lawyers and the New England Patriots. Both replied no comment on the Rolling Stone article. One particularly interesting part of the article attempts to trace Hernandez's so-called life of violence back to his days as a 16-year-old when his father, an ex-convict and the guiding force of his life, suddenly died. Wow, fascinating yeah. read. Serious allegations. Really? Thanks, Lindsay. Yeah.